I watched the first episode of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I had actually forgotten it came on today. But I thought overall it was, I mean, it was pretty funny, I thought. Um, it was created by Tina Fey and Robert Carlock. Um, he was showrunner for 30 Rock. And, I mean, Tina Fey is pretty funny. She was probably, if, you know, one of my favorite female comedians. And overall, I mean, she's one of the funniest people, I think, probably doing TV, in my opinion. But, start out with Kimmy Schmidt <coughs> start, um, was kind of part of a cult with three other women. And... They were told that the world was kind of over, nuclear holocaust type thing. And come to find out they get rescued, and they learn that the world is actually fine, like normal, like nowadays. And it's, Kimmy went to New York, they all went to New York to get interviewed and everything, and Kimmy decided to stay there, try and start a new life and everything. So... I'm sure the whole season is going to be about Kimmy discovering new things in life and what to do and she already has a or has, has a job lined up uh, has a roommate but we'll see I think it has potential Tina Fey is pretty good and I guess the Robert Carlock is going to be decent to have along too since he was working on 30 Arc with her. And it's 13 episodes. They're only 22 minutes or so. I think it was originally supposed to be on NBC, but it was sold to Netflix and given a two season order. So we'll, I'm going to give it a go. I think it'll do, I think it'll be pretty good going by this first episode, but we'll see. I'm going to keep this one short. Uh, I think you'll probably enjoy it. If you like 30 Rock, I don't know if I'd quite compare it to that yet, but, you know, it has, it's, it's quirky. So, um, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. I'll probably watch more later. Let me know if you watch it, what you think. I'll see you all later.